Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome to the cruise ship down by Centimita. It is an adventure map for 1.6.2, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? The rule pool says, aka the rules, play on easier, play on easy or higher. And I think I'm on easy. I'm on normal. Okay, don't break or place blocks unless instructed. Just you know, don't cheat. Play. Make sure you're using the resource pack. I am using the resource pack, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Be sure to grab the access card from the chest. There's a revolver. Whoa, this must be for two players, maybe. Bar room, access card, objectives. Let's go ahead and take this, because this stuff is ours, probably. It's probably for one to two players. So let's go ahead and... As you know, we have reason to believe that Vincent Vivel, the host of the private cruise ship party, is involved with distributing weapons illegally across the globe. He's invited a few of his friends, his close friends, to join him in celebrating one of his new business ventures. You, posing as Pierre Rare, the business partner, partner Vivel is staring... La 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 la. Is starting this new business with. The two halves never spoke face to face, so as long as you are convincing enough, you should be fine. Okay, so. We should be convincing enough, hopefully. Uh, apparently I can't get to that chest, so let's go ahead and get going. <clears throat> I have a revolver. I can actually shoot bullets. Nice. And I have the access cards, and I have some beef. Okay. A little scary. We got room 5 Zedzalias. Zedzalia has nothing in his room. He is empty and nothing has been, well, here for a while. So let's go ahead and keep going. We have Riley Vavel. That must be either his daughter or his wife. And she has some golden apples, so, <laughs> acquisite apples. I'll just go ahead and take those and keep going. Hmm, let's see. And here we have a button. I'm scared now. That's, that's probably an elevator. Okay. Room three. Richie Rich. Richie Rich. Oh, he's got a... Richie Rich has a Rolex watch. He's got a Rolex watch. He's a little rich on the Richie Rich side. We have Simon Brindley. Simon Brindley has, well, nothing in his room because he's a poor little Simon. And we have Cole Denier. Cole Denier has, again, nothing because Cole, again, is a cheap little piece of junk. Let's just say that. Alright, so... We should take the elevator down by clicking this button. And apparently we're probably on another floor. So, please insert your ticket into the reader. Well, reader, ticket. I think I'm gonna be sick. Is, is he dead? What does it look like, you did? We need to come in car. Ugh, I need a drink. Is he dead? Okay, so. Apparently somebody's sick. It says... Uh, you, I think everyone at the bars right now, I should use the elevator to get up there. So I should go back up to the elevator? Or is there another elevator? It says, thank you, we hope you enjoy your book time at the bar. It would seem that Vincent Vivel appears to have been decapitated. Oh dear. I'm not even in the bar yet. Oh, wow, there is a head on the floor. He, uh, definitely has been decapitated, and all these other guys are just standing around. Oh dear, look at Vincent, he has no head. And you guys are, that guy looks evil. That guy looks evil. Is there any hidden chests in this map? I want some hidden chests. Don't worry though, apparently, help is on a way. You help you say, help, I think it's a bit too late. Why does it keep moving me around? Oh. I think it's a bit too late for now. My brother dead. He's dead. Everyone was ushered out of the room and you returned to your cabin. It looks like the mission is a failure, but perhaps you can still get some information from the other guests. You should visit them in their cabins. However, beware. There's a possibility that one of them could be the murderer. The murderer. All right, so, hmm. Throughout this map, you may find unique items that belong to others. These could be important clues, so make sure you don't lose them. Well, I have the apples, and I have the Richie Rich's Rolex watch, so... Hmm. Back in here. Oh, hello there! Wait, oh. oh. Hello. I am Zed Zalis. I am one of Vincent's, uh, business associates. I'm afraid you will need to excuse me. I have some very important phone calls to make. Uh, good to meet you, my friend.
No, by the way, no, I don't know why everyone else's head is so big. I think they have a cold or something. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Or maybe they just couldn't figure out. He's got the notes. He's got notes. I'm going to go ahead and... I should read the objectives. Well, actually, we already read the objectives. Let's go ahead and read the notes. He is dead. I will proceed. That's your notes? That's your stupid notes. Really. That was... Yeah. Better notes next time, bro. Better ne notes next time. Open the door. We have Riley Vevel. Hey! You That's a guy. Into people's rooms like that, Pally. Do you even know who I am, huh? I'm Riley Vivel, Vincent's brother, you idiot. If you don't mind, I'd rather be left alone. So get out of here. Okay, so Riley could be a guy or a girl name. Apparently I got it wrong. So, sorry about that. Brother. <laughs> sorry. Richie Rich. I should introduce myself, eh? The name's Richie Rich. I'm the vice president of Vincent's business. Though Vincent's death I mean I'm the new CEO. <laughs> Excellent. Huh. I whoa. Bottle of poison. Well, that kind of uh says something about Mr. Richie Rich. I think it's I think it's Richie Rich. Hello, Rich. I don't think we've met, Chappie. I'm Simon Brindley. We actually only met that Vincent fellow a few days ago, and suddenly Dish Walsh has invited me to this party. Poor chap. Oh well. Let's not dwell on it, eh? Hey, we better not dwell, dwell on it either. So I think it was a setup. The poison's a setup. I don't think it's Richie Rich. Looks like that's everyone. I need to get back to the bar and investigate this murder. And you have a wad of cash. Wow, aren't you a rich folk? So let's get back. Can I shoot these guys? Yeah. Oh wow, I like the sound. And you hear the shell casing fall? <laughs> nice. We are back to the bar level. Hmm. It's a little dark today. Looks like they've turned out the lights. I hope I don't trip over his head. Nice. I saw a blood trail back there. I should head over there. <laughs> blood trail where? Where did I see a blood trail? The darkness, I tell you. The darkness. It's getting a little dark in here. Nothing in there. Look at that. I can turn the lights on myself. The scumba. Huh. There's a chest. Ooh, strength. When applied, does 260 plus attack. Why not? Um, baby grog. Does 130 attack. Staff only. Well, I'm not staff, but I like to investigate. The redstone obviously is blood. Uh, let's see, we have nothing in there. We have a book, No Grog Left by Bartender. It says, someone has stolen all the grog! Now I can't get drunk. Aw. Boo hoo. Well, yeah, hey, this isn't grog. Oh, and the murderer stuffed the rest of the vivo in this box. Lovely. And it doesn't look like the murderer or weapons around here. I should check the engine room. So that's his body? Eh. It's like cabbage. And more guts. Interesting. Interesting way to play things out. Whoa, okay. Hmm. Staff, cabin, engine room. We'll go to the engine room, shall we? Oh, we need, uh... Oh, we don't actually have... Money? No, we need... It says, please insert your access ticket here. So we have to go to the staff and maybe get an access ticket. Staff cabins, shall we? Anything in here? Hey, how's it going? Hmm, who are you people? I saw someone else run by here earlier. What did he look like? Oh, uh, well, uh, he had brown hair, I believe. So he had brown hair. C 
clue. Brown haired man. Okay. So, how do we know the brown haired man was the guy that actually went by and killed somebody? Men's workshop or bathroom? It's bathroom. Oh, wow. Ew. Bloody poop and or guts. Ew. Nothing in that hopper. Ooh. Unhealthy poop. That is very unhealthy. And diarrhea poop. Ew. Nothing in that hopper. Ooh. Sink poop. Who poops in the sink? My gosh. People these days. Mm, this room's empty. Women's. Oh, I don't even want to go in here. A murderer gives me permission to enter the women's toilet, right? In <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I wonder what they have in here. Do they have sink poop? No, they don't have sink poop. They're proper. They don't even have poop poop. Oh, they have a brick. I might as well take the brick. I don't know why a woman would have a, a brick. I mean, it doesn't say poop, so holding it in my hand seems, well, a little bit easier than holding poop. Okay. Hey! You, I don't know what you're doing here, but I uh, lost my lucky brick. Could you help me find it? I know I had it when I went to the toilet, but I haven't seen it since. Are you a girl? I got a brick. Put my lucky brick in here. Yay! Oh, you found it. Why is it so wet? Anyways, here, have my engine room ticket. I'm afraid that's all I have. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll definitely take that. So, since it didn't say poop, I picked it up. I've never played this map before, but it seemed like that was a strategic play right there. A very good strategic play. Please insert your access ticket here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I understand there's been an incident on board the ship. Please gather in the lounge as soon as possible for your own safety. Help is on the way. Thank you. Hmm. Here's A. Let's go A first. Oh, that's scary. I thought I was going to fall. Huh. Mechanic ran wrenches quarters? Anything down here? I can hear, like, the engine in the background. When you get my wrench, put it in here, please. Okay, what's he say? Uh, hey, interested in getting through that door? I don't care who you are or what you're doing, but uh, I'll open it for you if you help me out. There's this jerk, you see. He's a chef. Yeah, I know. I can't get much lamer than that. I am right. Uh, anyways, I've been having some uh, disputes with the dork, so the other day I pulled a tiny little itsy-bitsy practically harmless prank on him, and now he's stolen my wrench. My wrench! He's such a mother cheffer. I tell you. Anyways, you know, you get my wrench and I'll let you through. Simple as that. Hell, <laughs> have it hidden in the kitchen somewhere, I'm sure. He'll surely have it hidden in the kitchen somewhere. So, yeah, I like that engine sound. That's pretty cool. This is my first experience in playing 1.6.2 maps. And it seems like they've gotten a lot better. Alright, we'll come down here. I don't know where the kitchen would be, but hey. Cobwebs here. Pretty sure it might be around here somewhere. Says stay in, ah, uh, stay out. I mean it. Don't do it. Leave me alone. Okay. So, says mechanic. You're saying you want my access ticket to the elevator? No, I'm not giving it to you. Never. I'd sooner die. Wait, no. Don't kill me. I changed my mind. Here, take it. Okay. So I, apparently, I got his elevator access ticket for no reason. I didn't even want it. I mean, I don't even. I, I guess I was fun, wasn't supposed to access this point so far, but. Well, we got an excess ticket for no reason. Let's see. Elevator ahead, so we really don't need to go that way, do we? Let's go the other way first. There's another side quarter that we have not hit yet. It's probably where the chef's at. By all means, let's head towards the chef, shall we? No entry. Okay. And what's that say? Repeater powered engine rooms. No. Powered engine rooms. Engine inside. Mechanics only. Repeater faces that way. I really need to craft a repeater? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to craft one. Worried looking man, uh, excuse me, I don't suppose you could help me, could you? I'm just an intern and something well broken. Mm, it wasn't me, I swear, but I don't know how to fix it. I think there's supposed to be something called a repeater in that gasp on the right. 
I managed to grab all the broken parts, though. I put them in the chest in the corner. I just don't know how to craft them. Could you help? Okay. I will try to help. I've never crafted a repeater before, so hopefully you don't need too much from me. Is it like that? Aha! Redstone repeater. The repeater needs to face that way. Not so worried looking man. Wow, you did it! Thanks! It looks like that knife was stuck in the engine. You might as well keep it. That if you want. You know, this must be the murder weapon they tried to ditch in here. Perhaps it came from the kitchen. Does it look like a kitchen's knife? Bloodstained butcher's knife. So it's the butcher! You guys think? Well, I mean, anyone could have stolen the knife from the butcherer. The butcherer. -er -er. Let's head towards the elevator, shall we? Hey, 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 hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking once again. I'd just like to remind everyone to make their way to the lounge as soon as possible. Currently, we are waiting for just Pierre Rare and Zed Zalius to arrive. That's Pierre Rare and Zed Zalius. That's me! Once again, we'd appreciate it if you could gather in the lounge ASAP. Thank you. You can use this elevator to get back down to the engine room if you wish. You will not be able to return there otherwise. Okay, gotcha. It's the kitchen. I should have my gun ready for this. I mean it. Don't look in my chest. Okay. He's got a notebook and some bottles. It says, I'm so furious I just have to note this down in a book so that I can read it later and be like, wow, I was angry. Anyways, that mechanic pulled what he calls a small prank on me. He set my bed on fire while I was sleeping. I was, I was sleeping in it. Luckily, I happened to wet the bed soon after, which put out the fire, but I was rather irritated when I woke up to find my sheets all charred. So I've stolen its wrench in retaliation. I've stolen all the grog supplies, too, because I know how much he... He likes the grog. We'll never find a stupid wrench. I hid it in one of those ovens. Ha ha ha! I'm sure one of the cooks will find it sooner. I know what they'll do with it. Okay, well, I'm going to get drunk and, and scheme some more now. Interesting. Very interesting. More grog. I mean, I'm pretty sure that probably doesn't help at all, but might as well look in all of these things for, well, that one. <gasps> There's the wrench. There's the wrench. So we need to go back down. We need to go back down and give the wrench to, uh... Well, you know who. Note to self. By Buck the Cook. Reminder, how to make a potion of healing. First, you add a nether wart to a bottle of water.